They are just friends. This is Jiří Dufek uh, on your RHS channel. And today I will present you game Bielek Neumann from Olomo Summer, which was played in fact a few days ago. Let's start. E4, C6, D4, D5, E5, Bishop F5, and now Bielek played H4, which is very typical move. Uh, another move uh, in this position is very interesting g4 which looks like beginner move but after bishop e4 f3 bishop g6 there is point of white setup and this is just e6 well simply pawn sacrifice to try disturb black development and after f e6 h4 knight d7 h5 bishop f7 f4 it looks like white has full success because uh, on, pawns on e7 and e6 are terrible and there is no simple way how to develop a uh, black king side. But uh, black in the game Nepomniachtchi Shakland, uh, Hamti Mantsik 2017, found nice e5. And after fe e6, knight f3 c5, black got just very nice counterplay. And in fact, I think nearly equalized after moves c3, knight e7, bishop d3, knight c6, short castle, and queen b6. And because I guess serious counterplay on, on the d4, and maybe, which just uh, happened, uh, there will be some sacrifice on d4, and knight takes e5, knight takes e5, and white king's king on g1 is quite weak. Uh, I think that uh, chances are roughly equal. But uh, after h4, there is a similar idea which happens in the game. After black plays h6, which is probably a slightly risky move. I think that main move h5 is probably more solid. But uh, originally, uh, this this line started to be interesting for white when they recognize very nice sacrifice, well, pawn sacrifice after bishop g5, queen b6, bishop d3, and now bishop d3, queen d3, queen b2. It's clear that black will uh, win a uh, rook on a1, but there is very strong move, e6, which disturbs black development. And after queen takes a1, queen b3, it's clear that there is terrible threat, not only taking on b7 and trading queen takes a8, but two queen c8, queen c8 mate. You know, one game uh, was played b5, and after knight f3, uh, it's clear that white will finish development with short castle and then knight c3 catching a queen on a1 and because white has uh, have has terrible uh, advantage in development and white is simply winning but in this line there is small hole and this is that after bishop d3 Queen d4 is very strong. Now, of course, after bishop f5, there is queen e5 check, which will take the bishop on f5. And after queen f3, which is on the move, queen g4, short castle, bishop d3, queen d3, e6. Uh, Black just finished building his center, very strong center, and he will return queen back, probably something like this, and he is simply pawn up, and it's not easy for white to prove that he has more than enough compensation, well, he has developed quite well, but opening center is not so easy, and in fact in game Philip of Solak, good sadly in 2014, uh, white uh, lost after 50 moves, that is why White started to be a little bit smarter, and they started after h5 with a move bishop d3, and after bishop d3, queen d3, e6, 
they started to play bishop g5. And my idea is to, of course, after something like queen b6, knight d2, maybe sacrifice time to time or pawn on b2, but simply knight f3, short castle, c4, take some space advantage, uh, and why it is slightly better. You know, one recent game in Partubice between Van Forest and Brainig. Uh, Brainig, Gustav Brainig played Queen H5 check. And after Knight D2, C5 was played. And after DC, Bishop C5, Knight GF3, which is a simple idea to play short castle and, and then probably C4 and maybe A3 and B4 to gain some space on queen side. Uh, black played knight c6, short castle, and now queen a6. Of course, queen exchange uh, is uh, very good for black, because after that, uh, black uh, would have a very nice position. But white played c4, knight g7, and now simple move a3 and there is simply threat b4, and b5, of course, winning a piece. Black played dc4, my c4, short castle, and b4. And now Gustav played bishop b6, which is more or less losing mistake. Probably better was something like b5, and after knight a5, knight takes a5. BC, it's clear that white is much better because uh, pass pawn on c5, very weak, square on d6. Uh, it's clear that white is much better. But after bishop b6, there was move, bishop takes e7, knight takes e7, and a4. And simple threat b5 is not easy to parry because even moving bishop somewhere doesn't automatically mean that queen has escaped square. In fact, uh, she doesn't have any square. And after rook fd8, queen b3, uh, black resign. I think this this game and short overview of, of this line shows uh, quite big problems which uh, black uh, should solve if if he choose uh, move like for h5. I think. Maybe some Karakan players will prefer something slow like a6 or queen b6, where the tower is not so established as in the, in the main lines. But so back to game. After h4, h6 was played, g4, of course, bishop e4, trying to force white to play f3, which was which uh, which was happened, f3, bishop h7, and now e6, which is the same idea like in the first game, uh, after g4, uh, in a g4 line. And now, uh, black played queen d6, which is of course, uh, which is of course the best move. After something like fe, bishop d3 is coming, with idea to establish absolute control on a square, on a light square, on a king side. And after queen d3, bishop d3, queen d3, queen d6, f4, it's clear that black will have uh, has a very uh, hard time, because simple idea, knight f3, knight e5, queen g6, and knight f7. It's a big problem. In fact, black played knight e7, knight f3, long castle, knight e5, knight e5, fe, queen c7, knight c3. And because there is no any way how to develop a queen side, black decided to sacrifice knight after knight f6, after ef, ef. Black got two pawns, but definitely this is not a full 
competition in a game Nihua Lan China 2014 and and uh, white uh, white won. This is why Queen D6 is probably better. E F7, in F7, and now F4. Important move. Still, there is same idea. Knight F3 and Knight E5. And still, there is no easy to how to way how to develop black kingside. Black played Knight F6. And now Knight F3 move, which is on sacrifice. White for white is much more important to give a check on e5 more than this pawn on g4. And in fact, after knight g4, h5, not, not allow something like g6. Knight f6, knight e5, king g8. And now uh, Bielek played bishop d3. Which is a very strong move, but probably slightly more precise was bishop e3 after e6. Something like bishop d3 now, queen b4, knight d2, bishop d3, knight d3. And it's clear that white has very nice compensation for a pawn. e6 is uh, very weak, g6 is weak, there is still the same plan. Knight f3, knight d5, or second knight to f e5. Rook g1, queen f3, and long castle. And it's not so clear how should uh, how should uh, black uh, will be s successful with his development, because all black pieces are on uh, initial squares. But bishop d3 was a very strong move too, with idea to exchange of course, this, this strong bishop. And uh, now, Peter Neumann played probably a uh, slightly weak uh, move. Uh, he played knight e4, uh, simply stopped exchanging bishops. But probably better try was c5. And after bishop e3, c4, bishop takes e7, rook takes. Knight c3, knight c6, queen f3, e6. Black's position uh, is not so nice, or very nice. But he simply stabilized center. Uh, he has some chances to get counterplay over knight e7, knight f5, probably bishop e7, and maybe even transfer to king kong on the queen side. Oh, after knight e4, oh, white played bishop uh, knight e2, which is probably too slightly in, uh, imprecise. Just just better way how to develop was queen f3. And after knight d7, bishop e3, knight df6, knight d2, bishop f5, and queen g2. And White is prepared to make a long castle, and then rook to g1, probably something like knight g6, or second knight to g6, with a very strong initiative for a pawn. After knight d2, black has some chances to finish development after knight d7, and using fact, that uh, knight on d2 restrained to bishop on c1. And now, parallel after knight d7, something like knight f3, e6, and c3, and queen d, d no f6. And black has chances to finish development with uh, some stable position. After e6, very strong move was played by white. Knight g6. Bishop g6, a g6, and now black took on d2, which is uh, which is I think small error. 
just better way was to save for a night for a future after knight f6 and after something like knight f3 knight bd7 bishop b3 c5 he takes e5 knight takes e5 bishop takes queen takes c5 queen e2 queen h5 check c3 and, and rook e8 it's clear that why this full compensation still there is terrible rook on h8 probably uh, black will uh, black will sacrifice this rook for a knight simply black will allow something like this and it will be the best way how to uh, develop this rook but now white will simply prepare our long castle and uh, he will start to attack to weak pawn on e6 but still it was better way how to play the game and then knight takes d2 because after bishop takes d2 now bishop e7 was played and this is another weaker move probably better way was to play knight d7 with the same idea simply rook e8 and, and then bishop e7 bishop f6 and knight, knight f8 and then probably something like king escape to queen side but after bishop e7 queen g4 is a very unpleasant move not only attacking a pawn on e6 but of course something like low castle rook e1 or even f5 with opening files and diagonals on a black king uh, it should be probably winning uh, for a white now black played bishop f6 which finished his plan but in fact it's it's error uh, better way was just knight d7 and after long castle rook e8 B uh, rook h1 bishop f6 and now after bishop b4 which is very nice and strong move there is zwischenzug h5 and now very nice tactic motif for a white queen f5 is very strong and after queen b4 rook takes e6 king f8 and c3 white has terrible initiative and, and he's he's feeling feeling uh, black played bishop f6 and he overlooked that after long castle bishop d7 there is final blow which finish game immediate, immediately do you see it okay i will wait for a few seconds uh, i think so bishop b4 with the simpler idea of course after queen takes b4 queen e x check king f8 and queen f7 mate and after bishop b4 c5 of course dc5 and now queen c6 and it's echo bishop b5 with the same idea pawn on e6 uh, is falling and black is mated or black will lost a queen and this, that is why after bishop b4 black resigned well, i think it was very nice and fresher game in this line and still i think that after h4 the best way and safest way is h5 but black needs to know a lot of lines probably main line bishop d3 bishop takes queen takes d3 e6 bishop g5 and now i analyze or i showed some lines after queen b6 but probably uh, bishop e7 is is interesting for black too with some idea knight f3 knight e6 knight h6 
Otherwise, as, as a Karkon player, I would probably try in this position to play a6 or queen b6, which is not analyzed uh, to a death uh, by theoreticians. And I think uh, black can play for a win in this alliance. But it's, it's just your choice as, as black. Thank you for watching and see you next time.